Shalom. First and foremost, I want to say Ka Hala Yahawa, Wa Yahawa Shai, Bahashim Mokwa Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the elect, pushing this word in truth and sincerity across the four corners of the earth. Um, today, I want to make a video regarding false prophets. Okay, and uh, I'm going to start off because you got a lots of false. You got a lot of false prophets in this society. A lot of people, a lot of men and women, you know, that c claim to be servants of the Most High and claim to be serving the Most High by what they're preaching. But when you really do your research and you, you know, you question these people on what they preach, they do, you know, one of many things to get upset and tell you that the answer is too deep for you. Um, beat around the bush about your answer, don't give you a direct answer because they don't know what they're talking about. Or they uh, just straight up and lie to you. All right, because at the end of the day, man, if you're not if you're not calling on the name of Yahweh by Shim Yahweh and you're not out there on the highway, out there on the highway, highways and the byways doing the work in truth and sincerity, you're, the spirit of Yahweh is not dwelling within you at all. And you're just doing it. You're more likely doing it for f f uh, filthy lucre's sake than than actually doing it out of the sincerity of your heart, of your mind. So, anyways, uh, I got. Give me a second. I'm gonna read First John. First John, chapter four. I'm going to start from one. And it reads, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirit, whether they be of Yahweh, Bashem Shai, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. So, yo, if, you, if you're a man who's looking for the truth, and you hear, and you listen to a bunch of people preaching, question them question them if they say something that doesn't make sense that you don't understand question the hell out of it until they make you understand you know because if they have the truth it should be simple and plain right nothing there's no there's nothing wise about making what's simple complicated there's nothing wise about that it's actually the other way around you want to take what seems complicated and make it simple that's how you know someone's telling you the truth Okay, and that's how you know they have wisdom. It says, uh, verse 2, Hereby know ye the spirit of Yahweh, by Hashem Shai, every spirit that confesses, confesses that Yahweh Shai Mashiach is come in the flesh is of Yahweh, is of Yahweh, by Hashem Shai. And that's true because back then, in in this time, in, in, in those times, you had people who didn't believe Yahweh Shai even came in the flesh just like you have people now who who don't believe that Yahweh Shai is going to come back in the flesh you know so that's that's a big indicator on that you know like if you if you if you're asking questions some yeah you, know, you got some pastors out here in today's time that said the house already came that revelations already played out but they don't but when you ask them to break down revelations they don't know how to break it down complete madness and confusion you know um, verse 3, every spirit that confesses not that Yahweh Shai Mashiach is come in the flesh is not of Yahweh Bashem Shai. And this is that spirit of Antichrist, or anti Yahweh Shai. Wherefore, which just means against Yahweh Shai. You know, you got, you know, a bunch of our people that believe that there's this one, this one anti, for lack of a better term, you know, Antichrist, which is really anti Yahweh Shai. Um, there's this one guy who's who's doing it all. When there's a bunch of people that are against anti means against, and Mashiach is is uh, Christ in the in the Hebrew is truly Mashiach. So you know, um, just gad over there, man, <laughs> going through hell, taking it out on each other. Um, but again, yeah, anti Yahweh Shai. So we got a lot of anti Yahweh Shais on this planet, man. People that are against the truth and against Yahweh Shai and his word. 
And I guess the philosophies, uh, uh, not the philosophy, but I guess the doctrine that he preaches, that he teaches, and the 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 the, the you know the uh, the the sad thing is is it's the majority of, of our people that are against their very heritage, you know, and that are preaching against their very heritage. Like you got a lot of Jake past, pastors that are up there in the millions, some even in the billions or in the hundreds of millions, and they're Jakes and they're preaching against the truth. Complete madness and upside down, right? Um... Yeah, that is the spirit of the anti anti Shai, whereof ye have heard that it should come. And even now already is it in the world. Ye are of Yahweh, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he in you than he that is in the world. And that's right. Um, verse 5. They are of the world, therefore speak they of the world, and the world heareth them. That's why the majority of our people are up in these churches, man. Or in other words, these whorehouses. That's all they are. Whorehouses, man. Because the pastor is speaking things of the world. And our people are very, very carnal, man. Two-thirds of Israel are very, very, very carnal. And when you speak of the world, that resonates with them. That's why they don't mind given 10 10 or more 10 percent or more of their hard on hard earned money to a bunch of lies for the sake of lies to hear more lies that's what they're doing they're paying 10 percent or more to hear lies it's complete madness man jake won't even spend ten dollars i mean like you got you got esau won't even spend ten dollars on 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 a on a or spend a um a hundred bucks on on a pair of nice shoes because you know esau's cheap on a pair of nice shoes but jake's out here spending they're damn near the whole paycheck on the latest jordans the latest all name brand clothing carnal shit and on top of that you got the women of the household um taking the paycheck from the man and from hers Putting it together, taking 10% out of that, and giving it up to the pastor. When most likely the pastor is probably popping the woman in the back, in, in, in the behind the curtains, man. You know, just to hear lies. Our people are all messed up, man. This is this world is all messed up, and when you and when you realize the truth, it makes you um, look up this word, uh, a misanthrope. You know, look up that word, a misanthrope. And that's, and that's what you turn into be, man. Because you're like, man, this is just madness. How can you not constantly be aggregate, aggregated or mad? Aggravated. It's like a, aggravated or mad. Um, verse 6. We are of Yahweh. He that knoweth Yahweh. We are of Yahweh by Shimei Shai. He that knoweth Yahweh by Shimei Shai heareth us. He that is not of Yahweh by Shimei Shai heareth not us. Hereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. And that's true. It's very simple, man. Straightforward. When we're out there preaching, if a brother comes up to you and and if a man comes up to you and you know he's a Jake and he's sincere, you know, and he, and, and you what you're breaking down to him, he's 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 learning, he's understanding. He's most likely of the elect. You know, concerning that he, you know, he, uh, assuming that he ends up, you know, joining a camp, studying and starts going out. Yeah, he's most likely of the elect, right? Because only the elect are going to really, really, if you want to go deeper, um, you can't just rely on them listening and understanding the truth. Because many have came into this truth. Many men have came into this truth and men of renown too, you know, you know, leaders of certain camps were like, 10 years, 10 plus years, and fell out <laughs> within the matter of a moment. But it really comes down to um, 
really comes down to uh, lasting to the very end. If you really want to get deep with it. Not like Apostle Cabarro says, man, you're not of the elect until you're in a chariot. Not even when you're getting beamed up. You can easily get beamed up and then all of a sudden think it's like you're good and stuff. And then you lack and then all of a sudden like you stop lacking that faith that you once had before you got beamed up. And then you get dropped mid beam. <laughs> you know, you get dropped mid beam. <laughs> you know, but until you're in the chariots, man, then you know you're, you're of the elect. Really, until you get crowned, man. All right, you gotta. You, and that might sound extreme, but you. I rather think, with that extreme, with the, with that sense of extreme humility than anything else, because I don't think you can't have enough humility in this truth, man. You can't. We're constantly living in these flesh, these bodies that are that are constantly trying to, you know, waver us from the path, whether for, whether it be us being arrogant and prideful or you know sinning in any other form you know the flesh is always working that's what esau that's what satan's working with to bring us down so we have to constantly try to be humble so that most high will protect us right um come on so anyways um you know i'll read two more scriptures here um, I'll go to Matthew, Matthew uh, 7 and 15. Matthew chapter, slow, okay. I'm a little slow at this. Matthew chapter 7 verse 15, it says, Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing. And but, but inwardly they are ravaging wolves. That's right. You know what? It goes pretty deep in this one. But anyways, I made my point. I don't want to keep going on and repeating myself. So anyways, with that, man, you know, stay focused and, and beware of false prophets, man. Be very aware. Ask questions. Ask questions and you'll know them by their fruit. So with that, I'm going to close up. I'm going to say, Ka hala yahawa, wa yahawa shai. Bahashim Al Kadash and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the elect, pushing this word in truth and sincerity across the four corners of the earth, and death and destruction to this wicked kingdom, to the of Israel, and Esau as well. Shalom.